Make sure to stay until the end, we will explain why if you do not fix that problem on time, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on exhaust system. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Fiat or Alfa Romeo with diesel or gasoline engine. You have check engine light on and code P0130. Stay with us, we'll explain what causes that, how to fix it, guys. In some cases, it's not the problems with the uh, sensors being ba bad, so make sure you stay until the end and we'll explain how you can test it as well. Now, before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here in the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep making these free videos. And if you guys need to buy any parts tools for a good price of quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save a ton of money. So with that being said, let's explain what we have specifically here. You can see guys, this is right here, the Fiat we'll be demonstrating on why we say Fiat Alfa Romeo because practically it's the same company owned right now by Chrysler. Uh, you can see even though it's Fiat, it's Chrysler Corporation guys, okay right here. Uh, but that same engine for instance has been used in more than five models of Fiat vehicles and more than four models of Alfa Romeo. They're built on the same platform. But if you have that code, it will relate to practically any car, not just Alfa Romeo and Fiat. We named the video that way for any of you needing help specifically with Fiat and Alfa Romeo. But now you need to find where the exhaust system is located on your car. In our case, it's right here. That's the turbo, that's the exhaust. You have one oxygen sensor, which is also known as Wamda sensor. This is uh, known as oxygen sensor, bank one, sensor one, upstream oxygen sensor, or Wamda sensor one. It detects how much air and fuel we have in the car, guys, okay, in the exhaust system and it will send information to the engine computer which will uh, later change things like fuel, timing, variable timing so you can have a nice clean running engine that's efficient as well and powerful. Uh, now you have another sensor that's known as a, a downstream oxygen sensor or bank one sensor two or one the sensor two. The purpose is to detect if the catalytic converter is working correctly and it's cleaning the exhaust gas. So, if you have code P0130 guys, that code, okay, actually is the one responsible, okay, having problems with the upstream oxygen sensor here. Number one, check that the wire guys, it's not loose and didn't touch the exhaust. We've seen that happen quite often, melted wire will cause that code. Number two, okay, number two, if you look right here, if I follow the wire, it goes to that connector, okay, that orange connector right there, okay. So, uh, sometimes the connectors, they may be even closer to the engine, you may have an oil leak or coolant leak. Uh, remove the connector, inspect them to make sure they're not contaminated with oil, antifreeze, coolant, dust, dirt, rust, anything like that. If that doesn't fix the problem, we recommend to test the sensor. Now, that sensor guys, uh, it's easy to test, we'll have a video how to test, uh, it's called how to test oxygen sensor on Fiat Alfa Romeo, check it out or how to test one of the sensor, it will teach you how to do that and you will find out if it's good or bad. If it's bad, you will need to replace it. We'll put a link where you can buy one from for a good price and quick shipping. This is an oxygen sensor socket that's super easy to use, not expensive at all and make the replacement of the sensor a piece of cake, guys. Uh, also never drive with a bad oxygen sensor uh, for a long time because you can cause multiple damages such as uh, burnt catalytic converter if you keep driving for a very very long time. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.